It is 648 on your Tuesday morning. It is time now for the morning rush. A New Mexico woman involved in a DWI crash that killed two kids has been sentenced to a decade in prison. Danielle Ortiz pleaded no contest to several charges, including homicide by vehicle related to the 2021 crash with Alexis Martinez. Martinez, who was driving, crashed, killing both of the women's kids. She was recently sentenced to 20 years in prison. This morning, the state is asking to keep an Albuquerque man who police say admitted to beating his father to death behind bars until trial. Now, police were called out to a northeast Albuquerque home where they found 29 year old Clayton Garcia. Garcia claims that he tried to leave in his father's car, but he broke the window and tried to pull him out. The elder Garcia died in the hospital on Sunday. More than a year after a shooting that police believe was a case of mistaken identity, the suspect is finally behind bars. According to a criminal complaint, 29 year old Jorge Jimenez Campos hit a man in the head with a gun several times at the speedway near Central and Coors back in July of 2022. This was before shooting the man's friend. Campos now faces three charges of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Zoe. Our next big weather maker is going to be showers and thunderstorms along and south of I-40, mainly going to be far southeastern corner of the state with a chance for strong to severe thunderstorms, including hail and damaging winds. We're now seeing the moments that an Albuquerque restaurant was robbed in broad daylight. The suspect who employees say was woman is shown on security camera entering the Bob's Burgers on Wantabo near Manal. That was around 3.30 on Friday afternoon, pointing a gun at employees and getting away with about $300. The Met district manager says that incidents like this have become increasingly frequent. The state is on the hook for more than $600,000 in the latest lawsuit settlement against CYFD. Two former CYFD employees, Clifford and Deborah Gilmore, filed the lawsuit in 2021 after they were fired for voicing concerns over the department's use of the encrypted messaging app Signal. The state is now set to pay the Gilmore $650,000 in damages and back pay. The city of Albuquerque is contesting nearly a million dollars worth of citations from the state over its handling of asbestos at the Gateway Center. Earlier this month, the state's OSHA Bureau fined the city and its contractor three quarters of a million dollars, saying that they willfully ignored the safety rules when workers came across asbestos. The city is now challenging those citations, which means that there will be a review process. Zoe. Our Metro Threat Index for today is going to be at a 3 out of 10. Above average temperatures will stick around this afternoon with strong thunderstorms across the south. Maybe an isolated hit or miss shower here, but it's definitely not guaranteed. The isotopes are thanking their fans because they're once again leading the league in attendance. They also have the fifth highest attendance in minor league baseball. General Manager John Traub says the back to back achievement is thanks to their family friendly atmosphere. Rob says the isotopes have averaged more than 7,000 fans per game. This morning, Balloon Fiesta goers who plan to see this year's Special Shapes Rodeo may need to find a new option to get to the event. Local school buses, they have been helping tens of thousands of people avoid the traffic jam for more than 20 years. But this year, those buses are needed to help students get to and from school. Attendees are being encouraged to find other transportation options. Zoe. Well, luckily, traffic maps are looking nice and clear on this early Tuesday morning. No major accidents or slowdowns to talk about. Here's a look at the big eye live right now. Definitely more cars on the road, but flowing smoothly for your Tuesday morning commute. A woman in California who until last year was the oldest serving U.S. Park Ranger is now celebrating her 102nd birthday. Betty Reed Soskin was already well past retirement age when she became a park ranger almost 17 years ago at the age of 85. Last Friday on her birthday, she visited a school in the San Francisco Bay Area that is now named after her. And now time for the five facts. At number five this morning, the Albuquerque Isotopes, they finished their season on Sunday thanking the fans because they are once again leading their league in attendance. Not only did they have the highest attendance in the Pacific Coast League, they also had the fifth highest in minor league baseball. General Manager John Traub says that being fifth out of 120 minor league clubs is pretty big for the Topes. Traub also says that the Topes average more than 7,000 fans per game. At number four, Balloon Fiesta goers who plan to see this year's Special Shapes Rodeo may need to find a new option to get to the event. Local school buses have been helping tens of thousands of people avoid the traffic jam for more than 20 years. But this year, those buses are needed to help students get to and from school. The change comes because of a scheduling conflict with APS and Rio Rancho Public Schools. Attendees are being encouraged to find other transportation options. 
And we are expecting at number three more showers and thunderstorms across the state. Far southern New Mexico has the best chance for those severe thunderstorms, including hail and damaging winds. An isolated hit or mist shower can't be ruled out here in the metro. At number two, the state is on the hook for more than $600,000 in the latest lawsuit settlement against CYFD. Two former department employees filed that lawsuit in 2021. The couple had been hired in 2020 and were fired a year later after they voiced concerns to the superiors over the department's use of the encrypted messaging app Signal. In the recent settlement, the state is set to pay the Gilmore $650,000 in damages and back pay. And at number one, we are now seeing video of the moments that a popular Albuquerque fast food restaurant was held up by an armed robber in broad daylight. That suspect is caught on security camera entering the Bob's Burgers on Wantabo near Manal on 3.30 on Friday afternoon, pointing a gun at terrified employees. Robber, who employees say was a woman, eventually gets away with around $300 and leaves behind a shaken staff. The district manager, Bob's Burgers, says incidents like this around Albuquerque have become pretty frequent.